well, well, well. The fact that wokeism has spread this far and wide, even to the specific mainstream media, to the entertainment realm, we sure have had a fair share of all these woke politics. Either woke political diversity, woke agendas, heck, to be fair, I don't even want to see any right-wing politics. If you're going to bring up story in politics, that's second. Story's always going to be first. But that's not why I'm here today. I'm going to talk about today the anime industry, how it's being affected by translation errors of politics in the West. Localizers inserting agendas here and there, not with the big animes like My Hero Academia, One Piece, Attack on Titan, Dragon Ball, you name it. Smaller animes that are being edited a little, tweaked a bit to insert dumb agenda. And we're going to talk today about a voice actress that I do not like at all. I will tell you this, she was really good in a show called Soul Eater that I enjoyed. Her character was really funny. However, she is not a good person. She is so far left, so politically woke, to the point where she calls anybody that disagrees with her a Nazi. The fact that she has the nerve to call anybody a Nazi just because they want the true translation to something in Japanese to English is absurd. Even Japanese on Twitter have noticed this and really dislike it. And yes, I am talking about Jamie Markey. After hearing the type of person she is after she treated Vic Mignogna the way she did, of him burning in hell, saying this and that, she is a true woke leftist feminist. And she wants to insert this agenda in specific anime. Why oh why does she even have this job? She doesn't know how to translate something from Japanese to English. She just inserts something. She looks at the translation, and then she inserts an agenda. Jamie Markey, I have lost so much respect for as a person, or even a voice actress. Same with Monica Riel, after the whole incident with Vic Mignogna. Vic Mignogna, I would say, would be the Johnny Depp issue. And the fact that she goes on, I mean, look at these tweets. She calls people its or isms or a Nazi or a bigot just because they are calling her out on her bullshit. And yet she just argues and argues and acting like a complete asshole. It seems like ever since the election of 2016, everybody has just lost their minds. These tweets right here show the type of person she is. And then this video floats around, where she brings this comment up, which has nothing to do with the translations that she's been doing or inserting in these animes. I'm ready to bring down the room, let's do it. We need a spotlight. So, Funimation has come under, let's call it criticism oh, for criticism. how they choose to adapt their scripts oh, for like a couple of shows. Oh, like unnecessary hate. Yeah, got it. Yeah, um, and a lot of that, I feel, is directed at you unfairly. Thank and, you. Uh, <laughs> So how, how would you like to respond to that kind of criticism? To the criticism? Like, I have a vagina. Deal with it. <laughs> like, it's honestly, that's the truth. Uh, I am a woman. I am a funny woman. We are all talented, funny, powerful women. We are out here. It's going to happen. Deal with it. I'm sorry you're not getting laid. It's not about you. Move on. That's my reaction. All right. All right. There were a lot it's of very angry Reddit comments that, that winter. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. I, anybody else have anything to add? To that? I think no? you nailed it. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you for thank allowing you. me to say that. She does? Yes. Hello. Hello. You get a lot of hate online? Oh my god, it's ridiculous. I'm and, sorry, I but didn't also, hear the question. Like, she just told me that happened. Oh, yeah, we'll talk about it later. But here's my feeling. Anytime I make, like... If I'm making misogynists and Nazis angry, then I'm doing all right. Because <laughs> we don't, I mean, honestly, we don't want them associated with our fandom. They are not representative of us, and they will stand out and try to own this fandom. And I'm like, you don't realize these are amazing people with lots of backgrounds and lots of different cultures and, and just an amazing array of, of strength and power within them. And you do not represent the people I know. Mm -hmm. So just, yeah. I feel strongly about it. <laughs> <laughs> 
So what are your thoughts on this? Personally, she's this type of person, and I have no respect for her. Like I said, she was only good in Soul Eater as that character Liz. But afterwards, after knowing what she does, makes me not really care for her as a person. She can go on babbling about this or that, inserting stuff. All she's gonna get is criticism.